much. Thank you so much. Let's take you live to Mississauga now, Merci. where former Thank Conservative so Cabinet Thank Minister you. Tony oh Clement is making an announcement. Yes, great to see uh, these uh, familiar faces from uh, all over the province and indeed all over the country. And, and there it is, right there, on either side of us. The maple leaf, the symbol that inspired me for my first steps on this land. For all of us, a, a symbol of strength, a symbol that unifies, one that empowers, a symbol that unites the imagination in all of us. La feuille des arbres, un symbol de leaf is a symbol of power. Et de l'unité and unity. You know, just over 50 years ago, I vividly recall seeing this symbol of hope as my parents and I landed at the airport, not that far from here. Now, around the same time, there was this new national flag. The maple leaf was born. And I have known ever since that our maple leaf and our country, the true north, strong and free, stood for freedom, stood for liberty, justice, and democracy here at home and to the farthest reaches of the world. Le Canada, avec cette feuille d'arabe, Canada, with this maple leaf, has always symbolized la liberté freedom et la democracy. and democracy. A symbol that has since motivated my and many other service to community and to country. And I want to thank you, Brad, for your confidence and for your service for Canada. Let's give Brad another round of applause. And hello, Mississauga. Hey, hey. Ah. What, a, what an amazing crowd. Uh, the energy, the diversity, the youth, the optimism and the promise of tomorrow for our party and for our country, Canada. I'm excited by the youth and the energy and the optimism for our party and our country. And, as some of you may have guessed, I have a little announcement to make. But first, first, don't worry, in time, let me describe how I got here. How our country throughout her 149-year history has been a land of Boundless opportunity. Tout à long de notre histoire de All along our history of uh, that is now 149 years old, this country has been a land of possibilities that were unlimited. A nation that has accepted so many, accepted so many, who simply want a better life for themselves and their kids. Regardless of how long you've been here, for days or for generations, I know we agree on this. We live in the best country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. A, country, uh, a country that has proven itself throughout our history to be a steadfast ally and a generous friend in time of need. Le Canada. Canada has, has been an undefectable ally and a faithful friend in turn, times of need. That has accepted so many with one mission to undertake the apprenticeship of citizenship in the greatest country on earth. Now, back to my story. Uh, after we emigrated, I was raised by a single mom, my mother, Carol, sitting right there. But both my parents and my stepdad taught me the values of hard work, playing by the rules, and the worth of family and community. Yet, of course, while being a patriotic Canadian first and foremost, I am proud of my immigrant heritage, Greek on my father's side, and a maternal grandmother of Syrian Jewish birth. And like so many of you, I have the special privilege of being called dad to three wonderful kids. Alex, who's here today, and Max and Alexa are my pride and joy. They keep me motivated and grounded. And Lynn and I have joined in the challenges and joys of parenting and know, as many of you do, 
why the sleepless nights are all worth it. Thank you, Lynn, for being my partner in this great adventure. And it's for them and for all of our children, I want to empower the next generation to succeed in a country that is succeeding. I'm blessed to have those immigrant values, those family values, those economic values instilled in me through my life's journey. But they are Canadian values. They are our values, values that represent the highest aspirations of Canadians, young and old, hard work and personal accountability, enterprise and freedom, family and community, and equal opportunity for all. Values that Lynn and I have raised our incredible children on. Values that I was brought up with from those early immigrant days in Hamilton in a small upstairs apartment. Values that are strongly embraced across my beautiful riding of Perry Sound Muskoka. Thank you, mayors, for being here. Perry Sound Muskoka, let's give them a hand. Perry Sound Muskoka, a set of communities that I remain indebted to for giving me the mandate, the mandates, to drive those values forward. La famille est au corps que je suis. Your family is in the very heart of who I am. I was raised by a single mom, but my two parents have taught me the value of work, of responsibility, of personal responsibility, and the freedom and the value of family and community, values that my wife and I have transmitted and passed on to our three wonderful kids. I'm here today because I share your pride in country and, of course, our optimism for the future. I'm here today because of you, because you, our grassroots, remain the driving force behind my mission to empower our members, our supporters, our neighbors, our fellow citizens, to realize the God-given potential in us all. Our base remains the motor of the engine of my mission to enable our members and our fellow citizens to reach the potential that we all have. As someone who came from humble beginnings, as a former small business owner, and as a tested public office holder, as one of the earliest leaders in uniting the right, and who has, throughout my life, been an unapologetic, principled conservative, I'm proud to announce my candidacy for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. Tony Clement representing the riding of Muskoka in Ontario, but he is in Mississauga, Ontario tonight, announcing that he will indeed, as rumored, as anticipated, seek leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada, and he will have some company there as he seeks to replace Stephen Harper, of course, Quebec MP Maxime Bernier, as well as Ontario MPs Kelly Leach and Michael Chong saying they will go for it as well. And of course, this man, no stranger to conservative politics. He's a veteran uh, member of the party, most recently serving, serving as Treasury Board Secretary President under Stephen Harper.